Hello, I'm here to present you the Yate BTS Lab Kit. In the box, you will find the following components. One Yate BTS Lab Kit. The Lab Kit's power adapter. Two GSM antennas. Two filters. One for Europe and one for the Americas. Two phones and their chargers. Five SIM cards, two of them are already written and inserted in the phones, one smart card reader, and the Wi Fi antenna. Connect one antenna to the TX socket. Connect the filter to the RX socket. Since I'm in Europe, to avoid local interferences, I have used the filter for the Americas. Connect the second antenna to the filter. Before connecting the power adapter to the LabKit's 12 VDC socket, check that you are using the LabKit's dedicated power adapter and its power output. Optional. Connect the smart card reader to any of the USB ports and the Wi-Fi antenna. To access the 8BTS LabKit locally, connect the monitor to the LabKit via the DVI or HDMI sockets and connect the keyboard and the mouse to any of the USB ports or the PS2 port. Click on the 8BTS button. You will be asked for a password. The password is the serial number found on the front of your 8BTS LabKit. Click on the Yate BTS config icon on your desktop. You have now access to the Yate BTS web guide. Once the phones are powered on, they automatically register to the test network and you receive a confirmation SMS with the allocated phone number. Once the phones have registered to the 00150 test network, you will be able to see the two SIM cards appearing in the online subscribers tab of the Yate BTS web guy. To make a call, you can simply dial the number's short version written on the back of the phone. It works!